Hi guys, welcome to another tutorial on my channel. In this video, I'm going to show you two ways to add subtitle to your video with Filmora 11. Okay, so it is very interesting that we have Filmora 11.3 with some interesting features. So the first one is to convert your voice to text so that you can use this feature for making subtitle. And the second interesting feature is the ability to import the SRT file to the software so that you can create a subtitle file from other software and then import it to Filmora. Okay, so let's go to my computer screen. All right, and now I'm inside Filmora 11 and this is Filmora 11.3. So you want to upgrade to this latest version. You need to re-download and reinstall the software. So I will put the link in the description for you to download and reinstall the software to get this new feature. Okay, so for example, here I have a short tutorial about how to reverse a video with Filmora. So, but it has no title. For example, it has no subtitle. I can delete everything. So this is just an English version of my video. So let's play it. Hi guys, welcome to another tutorial on my channel. Okay, so the first way to add subtitle in Filmora, uh, like what we normally do is to add a, a simple text box here on the timeline and then we change the text to make it like a subtitle. Yeah, if you want to do that, you can go to the title tab right here and then select the subtitle subfolder. Okay, so you have many templates right here. Just drag and drop it onto the timeline. Okay, for example, I want to use this one, the subtitle number 14. I can just drag and drop it right here at the position when I when I speak. Okay, so we need to we need to listen to the video and then change the text according to what I, I say in the video. Okay, so for example, we can adjust the subtitle like at this position and then listen to what I say in the video. Hi guys, welcome to another tutorial on my channel. So it is, hi guys, welcome to another tutorial on my channel, right? And it stopped here. So we need to split the, the title box right here and then we can delete this one. And now we need to customize and change the text inside this box. So just double click and go to advanced because I want to delete you know, one, one title here. So this one, I want to delete this one. Uh, and I keep only this one and also I will adjust the timing of the subtitle to fit with what I say So let's play it first. Hi guys. Welcome to another tutorial on my channel Okay, so to change the text inside we need to double click here and then type here. Hi guys Welcome to another tutorial on my channel Okay, so it's simple, right? And we can also increase the size. For example, I can make it 24. And I can also customize and select a preset for my text also. For example, I can select this one. Uh, Hi guys, welcome to another tutorial on my channel. I think it's okay. And we can even change the animation if we want. Okay, so we'll play it first. Hi guys, welcome to another tutorial on my channel. Okay, so I think it's, it's nice. So let's click OK. And now if you want to create another subtitle, you have to copy this one. Just right click and then copy. And then you want to listen to the video and maybe it will start from here because I can see the waveform here. So I can just lock this track and then press Ctrl V to paste another title box here and then play the video. It is a short tutorial showing you how to reverse a video with Filmora 11. Okay, so the sentence will stop here. So we are going to extend the subtitle here. And then uh, we need to double click and then change the change the text here. This is a short tutorial showing you how to reverse a video with Filmora 11. Okay, and then we can click OK. So that is how we normally do to to add subtitle to a video with Filmora. Okay, and then we can play. Hi guys, welcome to another tutorial on my channel. So this is a short tutorial showing you how to reverse a video with Filmora 11. And just some... Okay, but now with Filmora 11.3, we have a new feature that is converting speech to text. So it is very easy to create a subtitle. So that this is the second way to add subtitle to a video with Filmora now, okay? For example, if I have a video like this, I can hide this one 
and lock this one I can put my playhead uh, at the beginning and then all I need to do is to select the video and then I can select this one uh, this is the option speak to text it is very interesting just click here and now we have an option to select the language so this is an English video so we are going to select this one English US and uh, now we want to change to the entire timeline sequence meaning meaning that it will convert and create a subtitle for our video for the whole video okay so we are going to select here and then we can click OK to generate a subtitle for our video automatically okay and being mentioned that uh, with a single license of Filmora you can use up to 30 minutes uh, of this feature if you want to use more you need to purchase more so they have different plans you can click here to, to view the option okay so they have three plans here the first one is 4.99 per month and the second one is 19.99 and the last one is 29.99 per month and you have one hour text, uh, speak to text service and this is five hour, this is 10 hours and also you have 16 different language to convert okay so that is the plan but uh, if you want to purchase it or not it's up to you uh, then i'm going to close this one and now we can close this one and to see our subtitle okay just close this one and now we can play hi guys welcome to another tutorial on my channel so this is a short tutorial showing you how to reverse a video with Filmora 11 and very nice right by the way i i see some mistake in the the converting by the way we can easily fix that by double click at the, the at the subtitle box on the timeline and now we can change the text right here or change the subtitle easily for example this is uh show how to reverse a video with uh this is femora 11 okay so we can change it to femora 11 and it is very easy and you can also select a preset for your text for example i can select this preset for one of the subtitle here and i can apply it for all the text uh, in the subtitle and you can also custom customize the, the subtitle also you can change the color change the border increase the size of the border and also the uh, shadow also right here at the custom folder by the way if you are happy with this one you can save save this subtitle as a custom preset okay for example i can save a custom and this is my custom subtitle and then we are going to click ok and next time okay let's click ok first so now uh, we have a subtitle on our video so let's so this is it. a short tutorial very nice and next time if we want to use the same preset all we need to do is to double click at the subtitle box and then we can select the preset and we will have a, a custom subtitle here so this is my custom subtitle okay so it is very easy uh, let's click ok and ok Alright, so that is how to add subtitle to a video with the speak to text option in Filmora 11.3. By the way, what if you create a subtitle file from other software and you want to import it to Filmora? It is also possible now. For example, you can delete this one because I create an, another subtitle file. So what I'm going to do is to, uh, I can go to my media and then I'm going to import an SRT file. Just double click here and then okay so this is a subtitle file so the the srt file i can select it and then click open and now it is imported into filmora okay and then we can just drag and drop it onto a timeline and play it hi guys welcome to another and you can also customize the subtitle by double click and then go to the editor and change the text and select a preset and customize the text also so it is possible now all right, so that is how to add subtitle to a video with Filmora 11. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. If you like it, hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for more video like this. And if you want to upgrade to this latest version of the software, don't forget to use the link in the description. Okay, just download it and reinstall the software. You, get, you will get this new feature. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye-bye.